On the ground and from above, a struggle against the flames. Six Spanish firefighters have been killed in the past four days. And the fires continue. Acre upon acre and all that was there burning. This just one of seven in Spain's south and east. Some under control, others not. The nighttime view from Mahaca is frightening. Flames surrounding the Mediterranean resort. And in the town itself, an eerie silence. Its residents and tourists gone for now. One told how people were gathering on the beach, almost in the water, he said. Others wait where they can. In all, from this town alone, 1,500 people have been moved. And among them, British expats and tourists. It was the smoke was horrendous. There was a house on the hillside that's been there for quite a while. And all of a sudden, all we heard was all the glass windows popping. And the, the smoke was just unbelievable. I've never seen anything like it in my life. Across the Mediterranean in Corsica, the fires are gone and there's little left. It was terrible for my neighbour. She said she thought she was going to die with her children. This house my father spent his life renovating. There's no justice. And with the continued hot weather, there's a risk that the flames could reignite. Back in Spain, the Interior Ministry has placed the country on its maximum wildfire alert. 30 planes and helicopters are now in the air. But here too, little to celebrate once the fires are out. I bought this house 23 years ago and I've lived here full time for 10 years. All the neighbours were very scared last night. We had four dogs. The guard said, out, out. And we put the dogs in the car and waited. The police said, you have to go. So we left. Emergency officials in Spain, at least, suspect some of the fires might have been started deliberately. And the hot weather is set to continue. Mark Stone, Sky News.